Hey chain gang, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, we're back in the kitchen, about to chef it up. Today, I'm going to be making sawfish. This is by Marshalls. Before I start, let me tell y'all. Last night, I was on YouTube. And y'all know I'm trying to get into this whole cooking thing. You know, I never really liked the kitchen that much. I was feeling for saltfish. And sometimes I don't make it to the Jamaican restaurant in time. I was like, all right, let me just go on YouTube. Let me see how they make it, if it's easy. And it was freaking easy. Like, I love this lady. Y'all should check her out. Um, her channel is called How to Cook. She's Jamaican. Um, but I think she lives in the States somewhere. But, yo, she throws down, okay? And her recipes are so easy, so simple, and it's short. Like, that's my thing. When I go on YouTube to look at cooking videos, I don't want to see no long, lengthy video. You know what I mean? Like, she's just simple, straight to the point, and she's very detailed. So, oh, yes, I went on her channel, and I stole whatever she told me to do. So, that's what we're going to do together. The first time ever making sawfish. It's so easy, y'all. Just wait until you see this video. Y'all know I made banana before already with y'all. So this is just the green banana I'm going to make with it. I'm going to be making it with okra. This is how it looks. This was only a dollar. I got the boneless ones. There's types with the bones in it, but it's kind of aggravating, you know, when you got to keep picking out the bones. I'm thinking if I should make the whole thing or if I should just... Because you could put some away, you know. The expiration date here says J June 2015. I mean, 2018. <laughs> so, um... I'm thinking I might just make two pieces. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna make like two pieces. I think that might be too much water. just keep this on until it comes to a boil and then I'll be right back to put the sawfish in with you guys okay guys so the water is boiling now which is good and I'm going to start on the sawfish so I'm gonna take out a couple of pieces like I said I'm probably gonna use like two pieces and I'm gonna put it in the pot right now Oh my god, it's so salty. Ooh, sheesh. All right, so I'm just gonna like split them in half, you know? So break it. If I could even break it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that. Look at all this salt, you guys. Jeez, that's a lot. Now, we are going to put the sawfish into the pan and make sure it's hot. That's what Miss How to Cook says. So, and just let it boil for 15 minutes she said 10 to 15 minutes so I will be back in 15 minutes a all right guys so ooh, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all I'm sorry so it's been 15 minutes look how it's soft well got softer and it actually broke itself up so I'm going to dump this water out Remember, we're boiling away the salt from the saltfish. So I'm going to throw this water out and then I'm going to put a fresh batch of water in and let it soak for another 15 minutes. That's 
how it looks. I really could have put some more salt fish in there, but it's fine. Okay, so being that I'm letting the salt fish go for another 15 minutes because pretty much after that it's done I just have to um, boil the okros for about I don't know another 15 minutes but it's gonna be a short process after this so I'm gonna start on the bananas now my cutting board I had to get a new cutting board so forgive me but I'm going to just cut off the top and the bottom part of the banana just like so and then I'm just going to do a split going down and then on the other side as well All right. that's, that's ensure whenever the bananas are finished boiling you can just use a fork or, or a knife or whatever and just peel off the skin and it's ready to eat. That's all I do and I'm just going to repeat the process for the rest of them. Alright, so I'm just going to add more oil and a little bit of salt into the, the pot with the bananas. I don't really put much. Um, if I need more after it's done, then I'll add it. I don't really want to put too much and then it's too salty, you know what I mean? So it's always best to put a little bit and if you need more at the end, then you just add it. That's all. And then I'm going to add the oil now. The oil, I feel like, really helps to soften the bananas. So I just stir it all around. And then I'm going to just cover it. Leaving it on high heat. You want to keep it on high heat so that it could boil faster. Looking good. Looking good. Smelling like golden crust up in my kitchen. <laughs> okay now, Chin. Watch. I'm going to shock y'all. I'm going to be making like curry chicken and some stew chicken and some oxtails. Y'all are going to be like, yo, this cannot be Chin. That was eating out all the time. <laughs> Alright, so that's almost done. I'm just tasting a little bit of the um, sawfish just to see how salty it is if I need to put it in again. Mmm, that's actually perfect. Like that. These are the okros. Even that this is a lot of salt fish, I'm going to use about four of them. Yeah, four should be good. And I'm going to cut the same way we did the bananas. I'm going to do to the okros, the top and the bottom I'm just going to cut off like so and like this simple, alright? Yeah. 
pour this inside of the pot. So I'm just gonna let it come to a boil until it's very, very soft. I just cut up my, uh, my veggies, my tomatoes, onions, and peppers. You can use whatever color peppers you want. I, the bananas are still bubbling. And the okra is just about finished. Steamed out and ready to go. Yes. All right. My pot looks horrible, right? <laughs> That's what happens when you use when you use fork. bit of vinegar in here not sure what the heck it does but I just did it follow along chin gang follow along vinegar made it smell good Ooh. I'm gonna add the uppers in I could have done more like I could have really put like two or three more in there now I'm going to add the saltfish. Let's mix everything up. already have salt in the salt fish I'm not gonna add any salt I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper mix it around This is the finished product. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to put it on a plate right now. Make sure you guys try this. It is delicious. You, like, I always have this from the Jamaican restaurant. And then this is the boiled bananas. Super, super soft now. Um, see? Goes right through it. Ooh, there we go. Hey, shout out to my iPhone. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to Chin Gang. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye, guys.